if you've got Logic 9, it's easy to extract a groove from an audio loop. So I've got one here. It's a 125 BPM loop, so the transport's the same. And what I'm gonna do is show you what we need to do in order to make this work. If you open the sample editor, you can see that I've actually got this open now. Let me just quickly take that away. So you would double click on the audio region come down into the sample editor and you see this button here, you click on this, this is the transient editing mode. This allows you to basically pick out the rhythmic elements in the track and then make changes if you need to. You can pick these up and move them. These are there to represent the energy of the sound. And if you double click, you can actually play each slice. If any of you have used Recycle before, it's a very similar concept. If I double click, I can remove the slice. But you can hear that there are two hits here. So to accurately recreate that groove, we need both of those. So I'm going to come back to when I had that. So you can go in here and check. That one I don't think we need. There we go. So you do need to check these. This one here, let me take that away. There's a little bit of a flam in there. So you could decide whether or not you want to include that as part of your groove template. In my experience, that would make things probably a little bit too messy to work with. Here's another one. Let's take that away. Then again, that element is part of the groove, I've got to say, so I'm going to keep that. So anyway, you get the concept. You've got to work through there. Make sure you've got one rhythmic element per slice. And then when you're ready, come up, turn on the flex mode, drop down to slicing. And when you want your actual quantized grid to be taken from this, what you need to do is to come up to quantize over here, come down to make groove template, and now in the list, you've got the groove template based upon the transient markers in the loop. <laughs>